What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. In the quest to be the best anabolic channel on this platform, anytime I set out to make a recipe, I have three important goals. One, it's gotta be delicious. Two, it's gotta be simple enough that the average person without a degree in this kitchen can make it. And three, by gosh, you gotta be anabolic. Mwah. And with this recipe I'm about to show you guys, woo, I really think it hits all three of those. Just be careful and don't feed this to your mama because she just might go to bed and wake up the next morning a starting linebacker for the 49ers. In today's video, we will be making anabolic chicken fajita stuffed peppers. We start this bad boy off by making some chicken fajita fried rice and stuffing it down into some peppers. If you're like me and one of your favorite extracurricular activities is to do some stuffing, then look no further than this video because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. You already know, man, that RJF anabolic cookbook link it down below it's got every single one of my recipes in it super simple delicious high protein it really makes dieting and eating foods you love a pinch man it's not about giving up what we love just making the better choices that's how it becomes a lifestyle you do things you enjoy if you enjoy it what's keeping you from doing it you know what i mean you get it one time you get every future recipe i have for free so if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway then as always man i'm here to do it for you let's do it yeah With this recipe, we're gonna be making enough for three stuffed peppers. If you wanna make more, you wanna make less, just take the ingredients I show you and divide or multiply accordingly. Starting off, we got three different colored peppers. Preferably, this will work best if you pick ones that will stand up on their own. This one has a little bit of a limp, he's a veteran. Comment below and thank him for his service. And funny thing is, you might think this is a hard recipe, but it's really not. All we're gonna do with our pepper to prep it is just cut the top off with a knife, boom. And this actually isn't filled with anything. If you look down here, all it's really got is little seed things. So we'll just take a knife, run it along the outside, and then this thing just pops right out. And you just look down inside, you can get any seeds out that might be in there. But at this point, it looks good to me. You can go in, you can trim these off if you want, or you can leave them, it's really personal preference. So now I'm just gonna go through and do the same thing to these other two peppers. So we got our peppers hollowed out and ready to be stuffed. So what we need to do now is make our chicken fajitas. The first thing we need is some chicken. We're gonna use 224 grams of chicken breast. I trimmed all the fat off and cut it into small pieces. Next up, we need 140 grams of ready rice, which I'm just using original by Uncle Ben's. You just gotta pour it in there and weigh it out. Makes it super simple. That way you're not spending all your time cooking rice on the side, but you can do that if you want. We got 84 grams of pico de gallo, 84 grams of red onions, 120 12 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese. We got 10 grams of minced garlic. This is really gonna help add some flavor to this. And then finally, we got a seasoning blend, which consists of three grams of chili powder, three grams of cumin, three grams of salt, and three grams of pepper. Now, let's get to cooking. First thing we wanna do is cook our chicken. So we preheat a large skillet to medium high heat, hit it with nonstick. Then we'll toss our chicken in and get to cooking. And at this point, the chicken is partially cooked. There might be a few pieces that need a little more time, but we are throwing this in the oven. So don't worry about that. What I'm gonna do now is add in my onions, spread them out, and I'm gonna put this back on the stove and let these soften for a couple minutes. And at this point, our onions are softened, the chicken is fully cooked, and this is smelling great. If you're wondering why I'm pulling it from the stove, you don't gotta do that. I just don't want you guys to have to listen to the sizzling the whole time so you can hear me talk. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is add in my rice, add in our seasoning blend, and add in our garlic. I'm gonna mix everything together, then I'm gonna return it back to the heat for a few more minutes. Oh man, this is smelling delicious. Final step, we're gonna add in our pico de gallo and about 75% of our cheese. And I'm just gonna stir this up, return it back to the heat, and let it cook for just a couple more minutes until that cheese is melted. And boom, at this point, we really have a meal. We can skip the peppers and just eat this and it's incredible. And check it out, when that cheese melts, everything becomes like sticky and cheesy. Got the seasonings, pico de gallo, the onions. I mean, this is this is a meal in and of itself. But we're gonna take it a step further. And how we do that is by stuffing some peppers. So all I'm gonna do is spoon into these and really stuff it down in there. I want every one of these to be jam-packed as possible. And 
and boom, all of our peppers are stuffed to the brim. What I've done is sat them in a baking dish and I've put just a tiny bit of water in the bottom. While they cook, it's gonna keep everything uh, lubricated. Not necessary, but I recommend it. I'm gonna take what's left of my cheese and just sprinkle a tiny bit on top of each one. I still want those other colors poking out. Now I'm just gonna stick a piece of foil over it and all I'm gonna do now is stick this in the oven for about 30 minutes. And ladies and gentlemen, when I return, it is anabolic chicken fajita stuffed pepper time. That's a mouthful. Let's go. And boom, after just a little time in the oven, we have our chicken fajita stuffed peppers ready to go. Look at how that cheese melted. Everything's a golden brown. These peppers are now edible, they've been cooked. If you go in here, use your fork, you pull it out and just look how juicy that is, man. That water we put in there keeps that moisture in. Literally guys, this is a perfect meal. If you made it this far into the video, please smash that thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I think it's time. Pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's go. It is pepper time, baby. Before we get started though, I need me a little energy, a little pick me up with some good flavor. Final Boss Amino's Atomic Bombsicle. Flavor your water with it, dry scoop it. The world is your oyster. Mm. Tastes like a first kiss. Available at FinalBossFormers.com. Code RGF10 will save you, the lovely viewer, 10%. All right, I gotta do this middle one because it was just looking extra amazing. You got a close up already, but look at how convenient it is. You just pick the boat up and the whole thing's edible. It's like an edible arrangement, except this is actually good. So first, we'll just do her how she's meant to be done. Oh, look at that. You got the melted cheese, everything's smoking. The vegetable medley, the chicken fajitas, the rice. I don't know about to you, but to me, that looks like the perfect bite. Three, two, one. Let go. I mean, basically, the inside tastes like a Chipotle bowl. Chicken fajitas, the cheese, the, the onions, the lettuce. There's no lettuce. Mm. And depending on how you want to do it, the pepper's edible. And there's people out there that think peppers are always hot. These are not hot peppers. Temperature maybe, but they're not spicy. You can just kind of apple it if you want. Mm. I mean, you could just eat it like an apple. Go from the top. Mm. And uh, I wouldn't do that around a girl you're potentially trying to marry. But if it's you and the boys, the family, a wife that already despises you, I mean, this ain't gonna do that much extra, you know what I mean? So let it all hang out. It might leak a little juice, but you probably don't worse if we're being honest. I mean, this is the type of meal anybody's gonna love this. You invite people over, you got some company, you're trying to impress the in-laws. You make these, not only is this something that like not a lot of people really have had, I shared this on my Instagram story and people were like, what? It's like I flashed them a copy of Mein Kampf. But it's gonna give you some pizzazz points they're gonna really think you know how to cook. They're gonna eat it. They're gonna feel great afterwards. They're not gonna be stuffed, bloated. You didn't just feed them desserts. It's a win-win all the way around, man. When you're having fun in the kitchen, like this is not hard to do. There's a few ingredients, but really this entire thing is super easy to whip up. You just gotta bake it. But when you take the time, you put in the effort, you eat it like an apple. Mm. No one's losing. You're not losing. They're not losing. The pepper might be losing because we're eating it like an apple. But for all we know, it's a pepper that identifies as an apple. Don't be insensitive. In this entire recipe, if you make it exactly Exactly how I did it. What you end up with for the whole thing, all three peppers is 750 calories, only six grams of fat, 94 grams of protein, 80 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fiber. And the thing is people, I'm a big eater. I like to eat a lot of food. So one of these things, 250 calories, I just had one. I was starving the entire time I was waiting on this to finish. And uh, after just eating one, I'm full. It's a lot of volume for not a lot of calories. Each one has around 31 grams of protein. That's a lot, only two grams of fat. About 27 grams of carbs per, I mean, that's uh, that's perfect, guys. And even if you just make one or you make all three and you only eat one, these are a meal preppable. You can microwave this and you're gonna bring it back to life. Or if you're like me, you're gonna eat all three and be uh, super stuffed, but still hitting your goals because we know what those goals are. They're defined. We're eating great food and it's not a problem. After I eat these, I gotta go edit for hours anyways. I don't wanna have to get up and go eat. So if I eat all three, it's still only 750 calories and almost 100 grams of protein. I mean, guys, that is how simple it is and I always try to preach it to you. Hit your protein goal and your daily calories goal and you can't lose. And if you got the RJF cookbook, you already know, man, you're in 2021 killing it like a boss or a queen, or maybe you identify as an apple. Regardless of all that, if you're eating
didn't add this freaking cookbook, you're winning. And if you got the cookbook, this recipe has now been added. So go get your updated copy. Didn't cost you nothing because you pay once and you got all the future updates for free. So yeah, man, that's uh, what we're doing around here. We're living life. We're eating good food. We're not sacrificing what we love. We still got joy. We still got happiness. But we're making results at the same time. We're doing what's sustainable long-term. I think at the end of the day, if uh, your diet isn't built for that, it's not built for longevity, then what are you doing, man? Because I've seen a million people lose weight and then rebound it just the same. It's rare when you find the individual that makes the results, gets the results they want, and then is able to keep them for the long haul. So I said, if uh, you're going to be any type of person in this world, be one that is consistent and is happy and is eating good food. Appreciate you guys, as always, for checking this channel out. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe for me. That helps uh, a ton, man. The more subscribers we have, uh, the more people see the videos, the more likes they get, the more comments. Even if you just comment emojis down below, it all helps, man. And I mean, it means the world to me. It really does. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Maybe it identifies as an apple.